using two steps to solve an equation with whole numbers. This is the part where we're going to take the additive or addition property and the multiplicative property and we're going to combine them into two steps in order to solve for the variable. Now normally with order of operations you go grouping symbols, exponents, multiply and divide, add and subtract. But when you're solving an equation in I'm, I'm going to use this for this example. Um, you need to go almost backwards with your order of operation. Okay, so you're going to be starting with addition and subtraction first. So we're going to look at this first example. We've got u divided by 3 plus 16 equals 41. Again, our focus is to get u by itself. So that means this 3 and this positive 16 need to go to the other side. So we're going to, again, we're, we're going backwards. So we're doing add and subtract first. So since this is a positive 16, we're going to do negative 16 or subtract 16. And again, whatever we do to one side, we must do to the other. So those cancel, which of course is our goal. We're going to bring down our u divided by 3, and then 41 minus 16 is 25. Okay, now notice I said u divided by 3. Okay, so again, the opposite of that would be to multiply. So we're going to multiply both sides by 3, which of course cancels the 3 on this side. And 25 times 3 is 75, which is what u equals. So that's the answer for this one. Now the other type that you will see in this particular topic is similar to this one. We've got 5w, which means 5 times w, minus 13 equals 52. Okay, so we're going to draw a line down the equal sign. Okay, and again, we need to focus on W and get everything that's around this W to the other side of the equal sign. So since this is negative 13, that means we're going to add 13 to both sides. So these cancel. This gets us 65 equals and we're bringing down our 5w and the opposite of multiplication of course is division so we're going to divide by 5 so w in this case equals 13.